Good morning kids, how are you? I hope that you are great, uh, having a great time at home, uh, just like I'm doing. Uh, we're going today learn about a topic that we learned uh, past week, that it, uh, the subject is about reading, and the topic is cause and effect, and also predict and set. Okay, those are two topics that we're going to look at. Uh, we're going to review and we're going to work on some pages like page 126 and 127 that explains the cause and effect predict and set to reinforce uh, these two topics we're going to use special edition practice EI page number two and student edition P page EI page number 10 and to practice these two topics we're going to use a page 152 okay let's go and pay attention how can i identify cause and effect relationship when i am reading cause and effect cause why something happens effect what happens as a result i want you to look for words such as because so and cows uh, because therefore as a result consequently uh, due to which cows all these words are going to help you figure figure it out uh, one thing causes another I want you to read also on 100 page 126 the three fact factors that explains cause and effect and in the third bullet says that a cause and a, uh, can have more than one effect look think about it name possible effects of the cause if it rain all day for that I want you to go to page the student edition uh, EI point number two page number two in the student edition to review cause and effect okay and then we're going to read name that hurricane on page 127 today we are going to read about the way weather scientists name hurricanes okay I need you to read name that hurricane if you finish the first paragraph of name that hurricane tells us that there may be more than one storm at the time meteorologist name the storms so they can communicate without confusion the clue word so helps me identify cause and effect naming each storm is the effect the cause is why they name the storms to make it easier to talk about them after you read name that hurricane you can use a graphic organizer like the one on page 126 and identify cause and effect relationships from the passage to predict and set the purpose remind you that before you begin reading you should look over the article to predict what it is about this will help you to establish a purpose for reading and enhance comprehension. I then establish a purpose for reading to learn why hurricanes are named and where they name where the names come from. I want you to go to uh, page EI number 10 and take a look the strategy of predict and set purpose okay and 
I want you to work on your own on page 152 in the student edition practice okay it will be an additional work for you of cause and effect okay kids this is it for now this is the class of cause and effect uh, remember that it was a review because we just did a uh, last week a uh, video of this uh, this topic okay so it's a review but if you have problems send me a message through the platform okay i said goodbye and blessings to everyone